three, two, one. Ignition. And lift off. Go Falcon. Go Spain Sat and G2. Vehicles pitching downrange. MOD chamber pressure is nominal. As you can see, Falcon 9 has lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. The Falcon flight computer will now begin throttling down engines in preparation for max Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure. Power and telemetry nominal. Good call out there for a nominal state of the vehicle. Vehicle is supersonic. Max Q. As you just heard, we've just passed through Max Q. Again, that is the maximum aerodynamic pressure the vehicle will experience. In order to achieve orbit and avoid being pulled back to Earth, the Falcon 9 rocket needs to reach a velocity of roughly 17,500 miles per hour horizontally. To assist with this, the first stage performs a gravity turn, initiated by a pitchover maneuver just 10 seconds into flight. This is also the end, oh, sorry. The engines gimbal a small amount for about five seconds, slowly turning the first stage into an angled trajectory. This angled trajectory combined with, combined with gravity's pull will place the rocket into the final horizontal flight path. You can track our progress to or orbit by keeping an eye on the first and second stage telemetry in the bottom corners of your display. Now we're gonna have several events coming up in quick succession, starting with main engine cutoff or MECO, when we shut down the nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. Following that, the first and second stages will separate. Following that, we'll have the first ignition of the MVAC engine, also known as SES-1. SES-1 will shortly be followed by fairing separation. Stage separation confirmed. Main engine cutoff. And back startup. And there you heard and saw those events that happened back to back. Miko, stage step, and SES-1. As a reminder, the first stage will not be recovered today. In preparation for this, we removed the landing legs and grid fins to decrease the mass of the first stage and save them for use on future missions. But for now, we say to the first stage, Thank you and farewell. Fairing separation is next in just a few seconds. We will be attempting to retrieve both fairing halves once they fall back to Earth using our recovery vessel, Doug. Fairing separation confirmed. And as you just heard, fairing separation has been confirmed. These fairings will orient themselves with gas, thrust, gas thrusters for entry into the atmosphere. As they near the ocean, each fairing half, we use a gas-powered deployer to release a parachute. The fairing computer will send commands that steer the fairing to the ocean landing where Doug will attempt to recover them. With that confirmation, we have a few minutes between our next major milestone event, SECO-1 when we'll shut down our MVAC engine on the, first, on the second stage. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be back in about T plus seven minutes. <laughs> 